It's a funny thing what sticks with us. If I asked you what are your absolute favorite basketball memories, I bet some are of players winning championships, but just as many are not. Golden State's We Believe team never won a ring, but every time I go up to Oakland, fans tell me those Warriors are their favorite Warriors. When Larry Bird told the world he'd just seen God disguised as Michael Jordan, that was after game two of a first round series. Last night up in Portland, the Blazers weren't playing for a title or even for their playoff lives. But sometimes a moment simply becomes bigger than the stage it's set on. I know you've probably seen the Damian Lillard shot 100 times by now, but look once more, this time with C.J. McCollum narrating it for you. You know, for the last play, you know, they took that bounce. I was like, you want the ball, right? He was like, yeah. I was like, all right, go get it. And uh, I didn't know he was going to raise from 40. I was like, go, go. Then he raised from 40, and I was like, that's some bad mother. <laughs> that's some bad. You know what I said. <laughs> oh, we know. And now I want you to watch it from this angle, because you need to see how Dame waves off everyone, looks at one of the game's best perimeter defenders like a spider examining a fly, lets loose with Paul George's fingertips just inches from his, and then forget the path of the ball. Seriously, just stay on Dame. Waiting, all 37 feet, barely any emotion, and then the man waved. He waved. I am not sure if that was more cold-blooded than the shot itself, but it was close. And then, of course, the look the camera captured, the meme that will live until the end of time in all of NBA history. There are only five walk-off buzzer-beating shots to end a series. Here is 1986, Ralph Sampson against the Lakers. Yeah. Look at those shorts. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, the shot in 89, Michael Jordan killing the Cavs. Killing Craig Elo. Look at Craig Elo. And then Elo. that Relax. leap. Oh, <laughs> man. Like Mike. Then in 97, back before threes were so fashionable, here's Bowling John screen. Stockton sending Carl Charles Barkley's Rockets home. And here is 2014. Oh, yeah. Damian Lillard has done this before. A fall away, Jay, with less than a second on the clock. At the time, he said that was the biggest shot of his life. Uh, of course, it isn't anymore, not after last night. And, and look, all the other Blazers, they knew how much this one meant to Lillard. Late last night, Evan Turner posted this screen grab. It's a DM conversation he had with Dame more than 10 days ago, in which Dame promised a breakout postseason. And then there was Yusuf Nurkic. First, he showed up in the fourth quarter to give his teammates this emotional boost on the bench. What's the show to Then the celebrating with them in the locker room after wearing, oh, yep, a t-shirt that the says, got bricks? Next question. That is, of course, a reference to Russell Westbrook and the rivalry that has festered between these teams all season. Even after last night's game, the bad blood was still boiling. Here was Paul George when asked about Lillard's game-winning shot. That's a bad shot. Um, I care what anybody says. That's a bad shot. Uh, but hey, he made it. That story won't be told. That it was a bad shot. Um, we live with that. I mean, look, PG is right in that if you look at every oh, shot from more than 30 feet, that everyone not named Damian Lillard has launched so far this postseason, only 16% of those have been made. But then you look at Lillard, who has launched 12 of those and made eight, which is 67%, which is a good shot. The whole exchange was reminiscent of Lade Divac and Robert Ori back in 2002, and shouts to our friend Howard Beck for remembering this. Ori with the game winner. This was on Vlade's Kings in the conference finals. And here were the two men on the podium after. Lucky like shot, that's all. You don't need to have a skill or some, you know, uh, in that kind of situation, just throw it and if it goes in, goes in. I went no luck shot. I've been doing that for all my career, so he should he should know. He better read uh, read a paper or something. <laughs> better read a paper. By the way, Dave oh, did see that clip of Paul George calling his shot a bad shot, and his reply was just to retweet it and write, "LOL." And from the podium, he said this. You know, it's been a lot of back and forth, a lot of talk, and all this stuff, and. That was the last word. That was having the last word. The last word. And that's really why that shot goes into the NBA canon, even though it wasn't a shot to win a ring. After all the trash talk of this series, of the Blazers, playoff frustrations past, the untimely injuries, the all-star snubs, that shot was the answer. 
And yeah, the Blazers are still gonna play another round and start a new chapter, but that shot last night, <laughs> that look, that was the completion of a very long and sometimes <laughs> impossible seeming journey. And we will remember it, all of it, forever.